Hello and welcome. As you know, I'm just touching the surface of Vue.js for now, but in the future videos, like very soon, I will combine all of what we learn and we will build some complex components as well as some complex stuff when we build our e-commerce website. In this video, I'm going to teach you about two-way model binding. Uh, for me, actually, this was the fun part of learning Angular, Vue, and React. Like two-way model binding was something very interesting. Like you change a value in, in one place and it will change in multiple places that you have the same instance. So in this video, you will learn how it is going to work in Vue.js. So if I come to my application, going to the source, we have the hello world here. So for uh, this video, I will just just do a basic example of what we are going to achieve. Imagine if you have a div here and inside this div we have a class No, it we do not have a class. We have an input here and this input is going to have a text and under that Okay, let's have a paragraph here and we'll put something here for now we whatever we write here I just want to Copy that down here. How you are going to do that, that one? You can use two-way model binding before you do that you have to know how you can take the value from here so in order to take the value from here your component must have a data property here that's why you can write your data property and as you know if you have a component your data must always return an object so this is how you can write this one data is going to be a function and it's going to return an object so which object for now let's say you are going to write a name here let's say this is going to accept maybe 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 last name anything you can write you can just write last name and for now you can put the value as empty now if you want to use this one you can write it here you can uh, print it here if you write let's say you write only here you save it and you come to the application you can see Ali is here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind Ali with the input here. Whatever user type here, I just wanna welcome them. So beside the name, I will just write welcome, then comma, then the name. How you are going to say if a user is going to type their name here? Okay, let's just give it a placeholder also. Your nice name, save it, okay. We remove the content, yeah, your nice name, whatever you write, it should reflect here. This is where uh, we say two-way model binding, not two-way like, uh, yeah, it is exactly like two-way. So how you are going to do this one? You are going to say, we are going to bind the value of here, the value that we have here, and we are going to connect this one with our input. How you do that one? We are going to write V model. And the model is going to have a connection between the data you have here as well as the input you have here. If you know about the concept of MVC model view controller, this model is going to do exactly the same thing. Like it is going to uh, define a connection between these two. So what is going to be the model name? This should be exactly the same name as you have here. The property of last name. So if I refresh our page, okay, you don't need to refresh your page. Of course, it is going to compile and refresh everything. You can see Ali already here. How come? Because this is the default value. Now, if I am coming here and let's say this is John, as you can see, this is going to exactly uh, reflect here. So this is called two-way model binding, which is pretty easy and this is where the where is where we say the reactivity of any framework this is basic basic exam example but of course in future video we will use some advanced uh, stuff with the two-way model binding so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video thank you for watching